What are y'all thoughts and feelings on menthol flavored tobacco? Uh, like, anybody smoke here? Oh, have we like? I used to. Yeah, yeah. Is, is that only in uh, cigarettes? What? Cigarettes. So no, that's vape. Five. cigarettes. Hold on. Yes. So listen. Cigarettes. Y'all are asking great questions. Do you smoke? And in what forms do do you if you smoke? So. Is it menthol only in uh, cigarettes? No, great question, Brian. It's not only in cigarettes. It's in vape, the vapes, and that dip and chew tobacco stuff that people do too. Not sure if any of y'all do that as well, but it's in vapes, cigarettes, and that that chewing tobacco. Vapes, as in like all the mint flavor vapes. <laughs> How do y'all feel about the tobacco companies really marketing the vapes? towards young people to get y'all to be the next generation of smokers. Cause that's really what they're doing. They're trying to market it. That's what I've been noticing too. Like all of my friends just smoke. Like everybody is smoking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Vapes? Oh. Not even, yeah, vapes like dispo, you know, but it's like vapes carts, carts that get you high. Like when you smoke it gets you high. Uh-huh. Um, just yeah, everybody's just, I don't know. I don't know why it's like a big thing, but do you smoke? <laughs> No, so you want to try it? I'm gonna try it or try it and not like it. Try it. Exactly. You can just say it's I'm pretty really sure everybody it's here has tried it. Really I tried it. Really it's really not bad. It's just not for me. I'm not, and I'm an athlete, so I don't do it. Oh, good. Right. Yeah. What about you? Any of you? And everybody. I don't. I don't. I don't like nicotine. Like, I don't mess with nicotine. Um. Is that true? Yeah, brother. My parents were smokers, so it's like 80 percent chance if your parents smoke while you're being raised with them that you're going to smoke. So I did try smoking and then obviously when you become, when you work in the real world, that's the only way you get to take another break without taking a break is if you go smoke. So I used to go smoke and take a break. Nice. And then we turned to vapes so that it wasn't as, let's say, um, disgustingly smelling. Yeah. So now I can give my fix in without smelling like crazy man. Oh, well, I was just gonna say I think smoking is used as like a tool for social gatherings a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, um, a lot of my friends or like people at school will be like, they'll we'll hang out, like they'll hang out just to like smoke, or it'll just, um, like it's a like kind of way to like interact with people. Mm-hmm. But um, I feel like a lot of people feel more open or like extroverted when they're smoking. So you can like, it's like for a way for people to like connect with other people and then but a lot of the time too once you try smoking and then you a lot of people back to like the school thing want to be disengaged at school so they'll be like high a lot at school so they can just like check out which I think D bomb make it this name right O B um, I never smoked, and but I did have two parents that smoked, and my mother smoked late. But I do remember all the crazy commercials mm-hmm. for the menthol uh, versus like Marlboro and Caramel Camels, and it was like a big battle. But the the Duforts and the Cools was always in the hood, mm-hmm. next to the liquor stores. Mm-hmm. Never figured that out. Next to the cat check cashing mm-hmm. place, mm-hmm. you know, where where mom and dad had to cash in their food stamps and stuff like that. So it was always a, a, a part of it. So back then, cigarettes cost a dollar, under a dollar a pack. Wow. So I remember my mother saying, when it get to a dollar, I'm gonna quit. Wow. I remember this. So then when it get to a dollar 25, they was gonna quit. And they got five dollars. And when she passed, it was like eight, nine dollars. She was still smoking. <laughs> Dad as well. So I'm curious to know, like the big, big tobacco companies, they are marketing this for a long time in our neighborhoods mm-hmm. and the retail stores selling Lucy's. This is how big of a problem it is that you can go in the store and buy a cigarette for a quarter mm-hmm. versus buying a pack. They smuggle in cigarettes from other states. Mm-hmm. Like why is this such a big commodity? Why, why are so many people doing this? Then why, how did it attract you guys? Social media. Like, um, what I was really thinking was like, when it comes to them uh, marketing the marketing the vapes uh, with all of the colors and the mm-hmm. flavors and all the different things they're putting in there, it all the companies see it as profits. And that's that's what they want. That's what they're getting from marketing from all these uh, to all these young people. 
and uh, it's and it's difficult uh, to like because you could be talking to somebody and you know you really just try to like make a friend and then you're walking and then they just pull out their vape and you, it, it makes you think about them a lot differently oh, damn. Mm. Oh, oh. even when it comes to people like you look you look up to oh damn <laughs> Keep going, kid. Keep going. It's 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 disappointing. Keep going. Why? It's, it's it's like it, it messes with me, and it, and I see. Um, I I, I talk about this uh, sometimes with my friends. Uh-huh. Uh Thankfully, they don't they they don't mess with that stuff, but. I just like see the high schoolers and they're vaping. I there was one time in sixth grade there was this kid who was selling vapes. It was it's a lot. And it it makes you it it makes it hard, uh, to like socialize sometimes. But I mean, I why do you why do you that yeah. makes you think less about that person? Yeah, what about that? that? Yeah, what about that? It's it's not it's not like it's not a good habit mm. and when they're indulging in these uh, self-destructive mm. habits it it speaks to um, who they are oh. and what they think about themselves Ooh. so but and you know what when it comes Sometimes to what they're going to be talk what they're going to want from you or what what's what's going on with them i mean i just I just hope the best for them. Really. Me too. So sometimes, you know what? I do too. Maybe they're going through something. So if you do have somebody, like if you meet somebody new and you guys are walking and they all of a sudden pull out a vape, be it male or female, don't be so quick to judge them. Talk to them and ask them, like, why are you doing it? You know, what's bothering you? Or maybe, you know, suggest counseling or talking to somebody to get help and explain to them about how it affects their body internally. You know? Yes. And, and instead of, you know. Because when I met you, you was a smoker. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, I, I smoked for years. I totally, I and totally my mom get didn't. that. Yeah, mm. my mom didn't smoke. I did. My I dad smoked. Um, but then my sister smoked, so it was inevitable for me. Yeah. Anywho, smoking is not good for you. I quit finally. And talk I, to people and mm -hmm. uh, try to get them to change their ways. It's really hard because with the culture with that. Because when, when you really like... Uh, when you're really trying to like talk to them, like, hey, uh, I, you're you're not doing the best for your future, and you're not paying attention in class, and you're not doing this, and you're not doing that. It's like, they're like, they're kind of just like, let me let me live my own life, let me do my own thing. Uh, I don't, they don't really take you seriously. They, it's not really like. But you're a real friend. You're being accountable, and I think that's amazing. Don't I, don't change that. Don't change that about yourself. So, Tell your friends. Be a mirror of them. Okay. I like. I was thinking like uh, kids. Like I was thinking about what you. Oh, that's funny. What's funny? What's funny? <laughs> I was uh, thinking um, about what she said about like uh, kids smoking. Like they might be going through stuff. A lot of kids smoke because maybe they're stressed. Like or they mm -hmm. have something going on. Some kids smoke like athletes. I seen some smoke before games because they got bad uh, confidence levels or they're stressed before games. Really? Anxiety. Yeah, bad anxiety. Mm -hmm. Bad. Anxiety. Before, mm -hmm. before, I just, I mean, before doing mm -hmm. anything. But they'll smoke before games to calm down their nerves and anxiety, mm -hmm. so they're more chill. Mm -hmm. Oh. But what do you think that will affect their breathing? No, no, it doesn't at all. It'll make them, it'll make them more, more comfortable, more smooth. What do you think is 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 healthier, um, or what do you think is worse when it comes to cigarettes, vaping, all the chemicals that they use to you know? Don't leave them in the question. I'm sorry, and then um, smoking weed or marijuana, whatever you want to call it. So what, what's worse? We gonna hear from all y'all. Okay, I'll say a lot real quick. Go ahead. I, I just said uh, neither. None of them are good, and you, even when it comes to comparing them, mm -hmm. you don't want to do any of them for really any reason because there's all there's always better uh, coping mechanisms. And when you're when you're really on any of it, mm -hmm. uh, you should really just be thinking to just 
stop. Uh, Can you give us a couple of COVID mechanisms? <laughs> <laughs> um, Please, thank you. I like, I like music a lot, so like listening it, uh, listening to music, even if you don't listen to music, you can probably just try it, because man, it's great. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. music is great. Uh, so that's um, that's a coping mechanism. What's another one? Um, meditating. Yeah. That's awesome. Song. Yeah, just like really go through uh, your emotions and like feel all of them and process them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like some people don't even smoke for. Um, like coping, some people do it for fun. Say what? Fun, you said. Yeah, some people do it for fun. Okay, so the, almost like what Abby was saying. Social aspect of smoking. You don't gotta socialize. You just do it because you like the feeling. Okay. But wait, are you mean, do you mean weed or uh, vapes or cigarettes? Because they both give you a feeling. Weed and vapes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but not cigarettes. Don't nobody our age really smoke yeah. cigarettes? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like me personally, cigarettes because I'm doing things. So bad, like, oh my god! I still got people in my family that smoke to this day, and I don't like being around it. I hate it. The smell, mm -hmm. it just <sighs> make me cringe. But um, with like highs and weed pens and uh, geek bars and all of them. Geek bars? What the heck is that? You know what that is? <laughs> 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 Think everybody in the do is that you? Yeah, you can't whisper. <laughs> 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 okay, basically a geek bar is a more She about to tell us. Geek bar is a more powerful um type of vape than really? um a high. Sneaking and geek. Do you know um, what's in it? Like weed then or No, it's oh. um it's nicotine. Okay. And it's like a it's way bigger than a uh than a like a vape, like a high. Like, oh, a minute ago, that's what like most of my generation smoke highs, 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 highs. But now, highs is like, um, going on style? I mean, I no, they, they like, like make, they making fake highs, basically. So it's not real tobacco and nicotine that you're smoking. It's really something else. It's like fake highs, so everybody's switching basically something else. Sometimes some people still do smoke highs, but everybody basically mm -hmm. smoke like geek bars and all that other stuff. So geek bar. Wow. But, no, but I really like when he said like nobody our generation smokes yeah. cigarettes. That's, oh, well, that's, that was good. Well, yeah. I, apparently he got lied because he knows three people that smoke cigarettes that's his age. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but three out of Just don't say their names. I don't say their names. Yeah, uh, people yeah. use like highs and stuff because the my like they don't like the smell. I don't like 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 nobody likes the smell of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's why your generation. <laughs> and also, so here's and the other the thing. taste, the taste of it too. When you smoking highs and. All of that, oh. it's a different taste. Yeah, a serious though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She said one thing though that they making fake height, 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 height. Stop the clip over it. Stop the clip over it, Jimmy. I want to say that. Go ahead. Be careful, be careful, cousin, for one to fend all that's out here in these streets. Oh, yes. And um, when I was working on the streets, yeah, 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 where they mm. take the uh, blunt wrappers and they dip them in the bombing fluid. Yeah. And people was actually losing their mind about it. Yeah. And um, I had a friend, he blew up his house and thought his girl, he thought his wife was cheating on him, <gasps> which his wife was a minister. He oh. poured gas all around the house, blew the house up. Is um, was she in it? Yeah, she got out, but. Dang. So I want y'all to be careful with that. I never want to be that high. Very careful with what y'all inject into your bodies. Uh, fire is inhaling it, whether it's a vape, whether it's a cigarette, whether it's a, a blunt. But well, please be careful. Mm -hmm. yes, Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All so right. Much. That's it. That's all. I appreciate y'all.